this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on the iPhone 6S. I will also have repair videos on how to change the charging port, the battery, and the rear camera, and you can find those in the video description. First things first, turn off the phone. You can find tools listed in the video description below. I will link where you can buy those. You'll take your pentalobe screwdriver and take out the bottom two screws in the phone. And then you'll want to take a suction cup and lift up on the screen as you slide a tool between the metal frame and the screen of the phone. There is a thin layer of adhesive all the way around the bottom of this phone, as well as around the side. So I found it was easier to take my little plastic pry tool and separate that adhesive before really prying up on the screen. Make sure you only pry up on the metal frame of the screen and the metal frame of the phone. If you lift up on the LCD of the screen, you'll end up breaking something. There's a little metal plate here held down by four screws. I will link a PDF chart in the video description for how to keep your screws organized. It'll be very helpful. Remove that metal plate and then detach three ribbon cables. This is for the LCD, digitizer, and front camera. After those cables are up, the screen will detach from the phone. Here is the screen. There's a good chance that when you buy your screen, it will not come with all of these goodies attached, like the earpiece and the home button. So you'll have to move them over from your old screen. Starting off with the earpiece, there's three screws that hold down that top piece. Lift up that metal bracket, and there's a little lasso that reaches down and surrounds that metal bit on the screen down there. So make sure not to rip that lasso part off. I don't know what it does, but it's probably important. Then the earpiece pulls out from underneath the cables, and you can lift out the proximity sensors from their little brackets, and then this little gold piece down here as well. And that releases the front camera and all of the sensors that go along with that, like the proximity and the motion sensors. I will link this part down in the video description as well. So here's the screen of the phone. The metal plate is held down with three screws, one screw, another three screws on the other side, and then one screw down by the home button. So to undo all those screws and the metal plate will lift off after you remove this adhesive that's holding it down to the top of the screen. Now that the metal plate's gone, we can remove the two screws that are holding down the home button, take away that metal bracket, unlatch the home button cable here. It's just like a little Lego, you just lift it up and out. And there's a little bit of adhesive holding down the home button and holding down the little circuit board down there for the fingerprint scanner. So undo that and then you can lift that out. So there's a good chance you'll have to remove these plastic bits as well and transfer those over to your new screen. So pop those out from their frame, be careful not to break them. And here is the screen itself. So this is the part you'll most likely get when you order. I will link these down in the video description below and it will most likely come with the home button cable down at the bottom ready to attach to your home button. If not, I'll make another video on how to replace that. Getting the home button put back into place, most of the little ribbon cables have a little pin that they sit down inside, and that will help you guide where to put the ribbon cables. Get the home button put down into place and the two screws holding down the little metal bracket. Then you can take the back metal plate, tape it down onto the screen, and get all of those screws, there's eight of them, screwed in around the back side. Take your little plastic bits. We're installing these on your new screen now. You don't need to glue them in. It's actually dangerous to use glue or because the glue might get on the lens itself. And it's actually pretty easy to get this ribbon cable contraption put back into place as well. Start with a little gold unit down at the bottom and then line up the square pieces up at the top. Just kind of tuck them into the little plastic bracket. Push them down into place so that they're flush with the phone. And then you can see the little niblet right there on the earpiece. Just tuck that down into the hole you'll feel the little niblet go down in place. Here are four little gold circles that go onto the top of the earpiece, and that's how the earpiece receives its connection. Now we're gonna take the metal bracket after the camera's put down into place, and we're gonna reattach the lasso around the metal piece, and then get the three screws that go onto that bracket, tuck that in. Then we can plug the screen back into the motherboard. Be very, very careful. Make sure it lines up exactly over the little Lego connection and then press it down. You'll feel it kind of snap into place. If you look closely in the high definition, you can see mine latch down. And then before I put the metal plate on, I'm gonna fold the screen down and just see if it works really quick. Now, if you have lines through your screen, or if it's just like a white screen, you're gonna to wanna to unconnect the cables and then reconnect them again, and that might fix any screen issues you're having. Lucky for me, all of my cables are connected correctly, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the screen. Make sure to turn the screen off before you lift it up and then set that metal plate down into place and put the four screws in. They are different sizes, so make sure you have them in the correct order. Now the best way to put the screen down is to make sure the top is lined up first, tuck that into place, and then you can slide your hands down the sides of the phone and latch it all the way down. Make sure to put those two screws down in the bottom as well. 
Hopefully I was able to help you out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like if this video helped you, and don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my iPhone 6S durability video. I think you'll find it interesting. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope to see you around.